Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. If you're new, welcome, welcome. This is going to be a blast. This is another review on a budget-friendly makeup, and this is Maybelline. And I've never used their foundations. I've used their lipsticks and their mascara and concealer, but I've never tried their makeup. And right now, during the winter time, I do want to go glow. I just, I love the glow. This is Fit Dewy Smooth in Natural Beige. 220 Natural Beige. I'm going to use the Age Define 4-in-1 Glow Perfect Foundation, and this color is in 1.5 Light Medium. So, what I did was, of course, prepped my skin and used my uh, sunscreen with serum in it so that I could continue the hydration. Did my brows and my eyes, except for mascara, because I want to try their new mascara by Maybelline. So I've prepped with a primer by Laura Geller. I'm really liking this. This is a silicone based. If you don't like silicone base, they have others within their line that are wonderful, but this just seems to really help smooth out my pores and fine lines. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with the age. Rewind, 1.5, light medium. Okay, I had to read the instructions on this little thing up here because I couldn't get any makeup out. You just keep turning it till you got yourself some on the end. And then we're going to start on the right side. Oh, I hope this is going to be the right color. Again, you know, the, I'm more pale. I'm much more pale. Okay, this is really, really glowy. It looked like it was too dark going on, but... And I don't go right under my eyes with my makeup, just on my orbital bone. So we're going to check this out. Okay, so that's the Age Rewind. It is very luministic and very hydrating. I can tell that already. Okay, this <laughs> is more of a concealer, which you can use on your skin as a makeup and highlighter and primer. So I might have to just add a, lot, a little bit more to get the coverage I want. I like this little applicator, oh, but it's beautiful. I mean, if you want that natural makeup look like you're not wearing anything, this is it, ladies. Now we're gonna go into the Fit and Dewy. Now one thing bad about this container is it doesn't have a doe foot or a pump. So I just kind of dippy do. So this is considered a foundation, not just a concealer. Oh my gosh, I just tell you, I have so much glitter. I, just walking by that glitter jumps off the Christmas decorations onto my face. No lie. It's beautiful how it's going on. It reminds me of the L'Oreal True Match. Now we'll have to See how well it wears. What do you think? This is the dew, and we're going to go ahead and powder -oo. But, yeah. That's why I always stray towards the fondy tints. <laughs> okay, now we're going to powder because I want to get rid of some of the gooch there. Get some of the powder. It's very shiny. So I'm taking my Laura Mercier. So I'm going to pick some up, and I'm going to go in the shine of life here. Oh. And I'm going to press it in. I want, I want my skin to soak it in. All right, my nose. Now I'm going to go on to the mascara Maybelline, the Falsies Lash Lift in very black. Not black as black. All right, first time using it. Oh, it's an interesting foot. All right. Okie dokie, arty jokey. Here we go. Start at the base and go up. Oh, now my lashes are so defined anyway. Oh, this is pretty. Okay. What do you think? Okay, I think that's pretty. And then the eye palette I use was the Marcula Juicy by Tarte, one that I got in that set. These are beautiful colors. So what I've told you before in my tutorial for uh, the concealer, I take a little bit of the Wet n Wild 
primer because it's hydrating and I'm going to put that under my eyes just a little bit and we're going to pat. We're not pulling. Okay, you want to make sure it dries before you apply these. So what I'll do is go on to my lipstick because I don't want them to get all, um, you know, it'll really separate and sink into your lines if you don't let your products dry between usage. My Maybelline lipstick warm me up in 235. Very pretty. And I'm going to apply. Yeah. This is more of a light pinkish to go with my shirt. It's just going to warm me up. I do windshield wipers on my lips too. Okay. It's very dewy. I'm going to add a little bit of this light pink from Wet n Wild, a little juicy, right here. So I'm going to take my little concealer, my color corrector, and very tiny lip brush. This is from uh, Sephora, their little lip brush. sponge. I'm going to use my NYX today, CO2, because I might use the color corrector, so I want to go a little lighter. And this, again, is just going to be tiny, 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 tiny. And I am going to gently In the same spots. Now, since I did the color correcting all the way over, and I do have a dark, you know, it's dark here. Okay, again, very gently, very gently. So I'm gonna get my powder. Where's my powder? Now I have an eye brightening powder that I introduced in my concealer. And then I am with my I am pressing it in, not dragging. Okay, ladies, again, this Maybelline is fantastic. When your skin is optimally primed, Optimus Prime, <laughs> then makeup is going to go on effortlessly. And I am going to go over a nighttime skincare routine that is going to be great for winter skin. Okay, I promise. But in the meantime, this side is the Age Perfect in light medium, and this is the fit, dewy, and smooth in natural beige. I think it's beautiful. And then if you guys will, if you guys can suggest a Maybelline matte foundation that is hydrating for mature skin, let me know and I will try that next. I have a lot of new uh, makeups to try, uh, Alme, uh, Neutrogena, Revlon. You have a high end out there that is a holy grail that beats all of this in wear especially, and in coverage and being hydrating, let me know. Whatever you need to bring your happiness to your life. God bless.